I'll see you in my chambers at 11. Bye. Judge Moore, I really do appreciate you making the time to meet with me. Kevin Houghton in the PD's office, he said that you might be able to provide some insight. How can I help? I'm trying to find out about Baltimore officers whose names keep coming up repeatedly in complaints, either excessive force or civil rights violations. And he threw a name at me. Daniel Herschel. Herschel's not the only one, but Kevin and I have talked about him before, so. He seems to be a multiple offender. You could say so. About 50 complaints against him. That's pretty multiple. Why is he still on the street? Mm, simply put, Herschel and guys like him, they get out of their cars and they make arrests. And that's more than you can say about too many police in the city who are collecting a paycheck. And it's become a bigger problem since the Freddie Gray indictment. The work slowdown. Exactly. So strangely enough, Herschel has become an asset these days, despite his many faults. In fact, I've had to throw out several of his arrests on cases in my court. And he's come damn close to perjuring himself on Fourth Amendment stuff time and again. Of course, that's not unique to him. You should get a copy of the list. The list? Yes, there is a list of about 24 Baltimore police officers who can no longer testify in court because they have been exposed for on-the-stand perjury. That many? And more being added all the time. And Herschel's on this list? Not yet, but he should be.